Maybe this is just the thing to help us get to the truth. Huh? What do you think? Come here. Open wide. Daddy? Oh, no. Daddy? No, don't hurt my kid. Please, please leave her alone. She's innocent. Please. Well. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, no. Please. Oh, of course, I'm sorry about that. Daddy. Why is that? Daddy. Oh, don't cry. Wipe your eyes off. Daddy. I'd hate to have to give you a tie. <laughs> oh, he just loves to play with little girls. He really enjoys it. No! You know, it could be easy, Richard. Just tell me about the courier. And you and a kid can be free. Free, Richard. Isn't that what you want? I'll tell you everything. Good. Who is it? Please. Who? Bolin. The courier's name is Nancy Bolin. Ah. Bolin. There. Richie. Don't worry. Did you hear? Richie. Everything's gonna be just fine. Hmm? <laughs> You've made a new friend. Promise? You promise you'll come? Promise? I promise, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with security at Gold Crane Incorporated. Name's Tony. I must say it's an honor meeting you. I've heard a lot about you. May I? No, I don't think so. I thought my arrival was a secret. I was sent by Randolph. Go! Oh. 
Uh, they're heading for the island. Got it? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just getting good, eh, Miss Bolin? Well, that was quite a welcome. Just one question, Tony. Do you mind if I call you Tony? Split. Okay. All right, then. Tony. Do you mind telling me where in the hell you're taking me? Stay down! Anyone's guess. You all right? I'm fine. Andrew. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Miss Bolan. Sleep tight. She's still out cold. Get out. You look great. Really great. What the hell was that for? How about for letting me think you've been dead for the past three years? Okay, I can understand that. Now take it easy. Did you ever think that uh, maybe there's a reason why I was letting you think I was dead for the last three years? Oh, yeah? <clears throat> All right, you know the last operation I did for the agency? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three dead agents, a lot of innocent people. All because of Bolt. The terrorist just strikes like lightning. Well, he nailed me, and he nailed me good. And I've been looking for him ever since. Mm. You son of a bitch. Do you know what you put me through? Just so you can nail Bolt. Mark, you never even called. I couldn't call you. If I'd called you, Bolt would have known where you were. And then he would have come and grabbed you. I don't want anybody to grab you. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> so tell me about this computer you brought in. Why here? The company wanted a sophisticated computer, so we thought that this would be a great place to test it. We're bringing in three different cases by three different couriers. If one courier gets caught, then we can beef up security on the other two, or cancel the whole operation. There's also an explosive device set in each case. If you try to open it from the outside, it sets it off and 
boom. Big boom. So, naturally, you need the access code to get inside, or the whole thing melts down. Wait a minute. Why am I telling you all this? I haven't seen you in hey. three... I don't want your silly little computer. I want Bolt. And Bolt wants Nancy. And Nancy wants you. Yeah. That doesn't give us much time. All right, I'll be down. Now let's get straight to the point. You don't know who they were, what they looked like, or where they took you. And they have a case which you were carrying, which may or may not be the real computer. That it, Ms. Bolan? That's just about all I can tell you. Miss Bolin, in case you weren't listening, you've told us absolutely nothing. We've got zip to go on. Don't forget they drugged her, Leo. Now then, Chin, I want you to take some men to meet Hudson down at the airport. And Chin, I don't want anything to go wrong this time. No more screw-ups. He gets in 11.20 a.m. flight 40A. And Chin, if anything else goes wrong, I'll hold you responsible. Don't worry, Mr. Randolph. I'll be there. Good day, gentlemen. Miss Bolin, it was a pleasure. Chin, I want you to be careful and watch your backside. I'm confident in your ability to handle the assignment. Yeah, okay. Good. Uh, a few gentlemen will excuse me. I'll see you tomorrow at the airport. Not so fast. You've already lost one bag. I don't want some pansy-ass girl getting in the way and screwing things up. Listen, sweet cakes. I'm still the head of security at HTI. Appointed by Donald Thor, the owner. I don't know who you think you're talking to, Slim, <laughs> but this is my operation. All I have to do is pick up the phone, and you'll be out drilling holes on some oil rig. So why don't you go home, have a nice dinner, take a cold shower, and chill out. Got it? I'm glad we had this time to chat. It was special. <laughs> Gentlemen, it was a pleasure. Good day. Goodbye, Miss Bolin. <laughs> now, if you want me to write the whole thing, I've got two calls from his office. He's going to fax me the yeah. memo. Uh, look, tomorrow would be better. The white zone is for the immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. No parking. The white zone is for the immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. No. Your attention, please. Flight 148 now arriving from Amsterdam at gate B4. Flight 148 now arriving from Amsterdam at gate B4. <clears throat> Move. Arriving passenger E. Carson, please pick up a white courtesy phone. Arriving passenger E. Carson, please pick up a white courtesy phone. Get ready. They're out. Stay with them. Your attention, please. This is your final boarding call for Flight 429, now departing for Los Angeles, Gate E3. Flight 429, now departing for Los Angeles, Gate E3. Take it easy. All passengers should be on board.
All right. Come on, come on. Chin? I thought you had it. Look out! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Two down, one to go. You did pretty good for a dead man, old oh boy. <laughs> To be honest with you, Miss Bolin, I'm beginning to lose my confidence in your abilities. Mr. Randolph, I'm still here. That means my operation isn't over yet. Ha! I knew it. The first two were sent just to smoke out the opposition. It's a pity about Chin, but now we know the truth. He'll be missed, but he can be replaced. So much for team spirit. Well, let's get on with it. When can we expect the real computer? Late tomorrow morning. I'll give you the details tomorrow at 8 a.m. We need the details now. That's enough, Leo. She's in charge of the operation. She gives the orders. Leo. Leo. Cheer up. <laughs> What's the matter, Leo? Don't you like taking orders from a beautiful woman? <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened last time. Someone should be there when she walks out of the building. You have my word on it. Huh? Yeah. It'll be done my way. Don't worry. When the time is right, we'll kill the bitch. Give me a beer.
Tang and seven guys are waiting to follow her. I want you to take care of this personally. She's the only one with the code to open a case. I want her healthy and alive. We need her. To open a case without blowing us up. So don't fuck up. You got it? Mm-hmm. There. <laughs> and now it's time for you to keep your promise. It's no problem. Your mom already gave permission for you to go. Thank you, Mommy. Mm-hmm. All right. But be back by 9 o'clock. Okay, Mom. I promise. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. Have fun. Thanks, Linda. Bye. Bye-bye. So you tell him. Come on. I'm not saying nothing. It wasn't my fault. You're in charge. Oh, man, this is going to be ugly. Get in. Get in. Bull, we lost him. What? How could you lose him? It wasn't our fault. I can't believe it, man. You lost him. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Morning, Miss Bolin. Let's get right down to business. The final courier and case are presently en route to Northwest train station. It will arrive in exactly one half hour, which gives us 20 minutes to get there, with little time for the opposition. That's clever, Miss Bolin. Why, thank you, Leo. Miss Bolin, I just hope you haven't underestimated the opposition. Trust me. Look, I need a favor. 
Nothing dangerous. I just want you to pick up a friend. Northwest Airport. He'll be coming in by chopper. Yeah, there'll be a woman there in a red Mercedes. Her name's Bolin. No. Yes, that's it. She's expecting you. All right. Okay, Collins, thanks. to see you again. Likewise. Let's do this, shall we? Here's your ride. We'll go back over everything later at Gold Crane. Bye. All right. I'll see you there. Hey, 
You must be Miss Bolin. Mm-hmm. I'm Captain Jack Leroy, head of internal security. Miss Bolin, security is more effective when all the operatives are informed of the details. Captain Leroy, may I call you Jack? Sure. Jack, I'm sure that there is a leak in Gold Crane. So, by changing the meeting place and time, I could throw off the opposition. Mm. Well, look, let me tell you something. Your thinking has left us with some dead unknowns and a dead courier. You've lost three cases. The two dummies and the real one. A minor setback? A minor setback? Is that what you call it? I call it disgusting. I've been with the organization 25 years, and I've never seen this kind of bungling. I've never seen anything like it. We've lost time and lives for what? I'm going to have to phone Mr. Thor, and I'm sure he'll agree with me. If it were up to me, you'd be on that oil rig, drilling some holes. When I'm through with my report, you'll be lucky if you can get a job as a security guard at a swap meet. You're awfully quiet. Why should I say anything? You've learned your lesson. Stay to women's work. And let men take care of men's work. That's it. I'm out of here. Good day, gentlemen. Don't leave the city, Miss Bolin. I'm not going anywhere, Captain. I have other plans. Miss Bolin. Some friendly advice. Before you execute plans, call me first. We might save some lives. Thanks for the advice, friend. Mark, I'm sorry. Here, let me dry you. Right. Mm, I've had such a bad day. Yeah. I don't know, maybe Leo's right. Maybe I should just go home and leave the work to the men. Leo, huh? Yeah, Mr. Personality himself. I'll fix Leo. And how are you gonna do that? That's what I'm working for. Get out of here. Leo's the head of my operation. Are you serious? 
You're working for Leo, that snake? After everything I told you about him... I know, he speaks very highly of you, too. Good night, you know. The man's had a personality bypass. chance if you want anything. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, it's neat. Let's take a look and see what's over here. All right. What's your favorite color? I like that. Sarah, do you like this one here? Yeah. Nice. How about this one? No. I don't think we're having any luck today. What do you say? Let's go. Okay. Come on, Sarah. I'll buy you a hamburger. Good. I'm starved. Maybe you'd like me to buy you a new car. Is that what yeah. it is? Yeah. I bet. <gasps> Nancy, look at me!
How are you feeling? Sick. I, I just can't believe that Sarah is dead. Look, Nancy, you can't blame yourself for what happened. Those were Bolt's men. They kill people for a living. All right, you did what you were trained to do, and if you didn't do what you were trained to do, it'd be different. You gotta stop beating yourself up over this. It's not your fault. I'm telling you, this guy Bolt is bad news. He'll stop at nothing, and he doesn't care who he hurts. I hate that son of a bitch, and I'm thankful they didn't finish you. What I really want to know is how Bolt is getting his information. Richard, your assistant at HTI. Richard? Yeah. He's dead, Nancy. They found his body yesterday. And from the looks of it, the kid held out a long time before he talked. So he must have told Bolt about the cases. They killed his little girl, too. This is really getting out of hand. We gotta nail that son of a bitch. Check. So, which case has the computer? Gee, Mark, I don't know what case has the computer. Well, that's fine. So don't trust me. But as it happens, I think I have a plan. I always knew you'd be good for something. Yeah. Ah, I forgot my wallet. Do you have anything? See if they'll take this. <clears throat> So you in? Yeah, I'm in. You sure? Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Good. Well, 
Miss Bolin, looks like you're all washed up. Such a pretty face. You know, it'd be a shame if anything were to happen to us. Come on, Rambo. You know looks aren't everything. Ty, get in here! Miss Bolin, permit me to introduce you to Ty. Hmm. Ty's an unusual man. He's afraid of nothing. All that fate and karma stuff. He'll open the cases. And don't worry about us. We'll just duck behind these crates before he opens the case near you. <laughs> That's really a great place to be. You'll be really safe there, Bolt. Good thinking. Ty. Can I call you Ty? Yeah. Ty. Genius here. Doesn't understand there's a bomb in the case. A big bomb. Am I getting through to you, Ty? If you open up that case, it means they'll be picking up pieces of you in Cleveland. That means no more you. No more me. No more fashion statement. Ty! The combination 7-Eleven. Access code. Gold crane. Falling. Better be telling the truth. What are you looking at me for? Try the other one. Damn it! Uh-oh. What can I say? Jackson. Killer. Bolt. I know who has the third computer. I'm all ears, Miss Bolin. Hello. Don't say anything. Just listen. Bring the computer to the old Denver warehouse tomorrow morning at 8. Screw up and Nancy's dead. Got it? Yeah, 8 o'clock. Be there. I'll be there. They got her. 8 o'clock. Tomorrow. That doesn't give us much time. I've been waiting three long years. Oh. Bolt. The terrorist who strikes like lightning. Computer? 
Send the case over. Bring me the girl. I'll bring you the case. You and me. We'll meet in the middle. Deliver the bitch. Hold it right there. And you put the case down, and we'll release the girl. No tricks, Bolt. Cut her loose.
Don't move! to kill me. You just don't get it, do you, Nance? I've been working on this for three years. Now give me the case. Or I'm gonna put a hole in that cute little face of yours. Yeah. 
Mr. Randolph. Here's your case. Thank you. Captain Leroy, I think that Leo has something to tell you. Miss Boland, where are you going? Where else? Bally. 